Buenos días, todo el mundo. Okay, so vamos a empezar. I also want to create a little release in my hips and shoulders and back today. So I'm going to start for just actually just a moment, kind of finding I'm going to both walk with my feet, sort of roll with my shoulders and see if I can't get a little coordination happening there. So as I'm pressing down, toe ball heel with one foot, I'm rolling a shoulder back. Ahead. And I can see it's still chilly for many of us wherever we are, so we'll try to warm up as well. Good, so now take a second and push both your feet into the floor and let one shoulder come up. And the head drops down as that shoulder comes up. We'll practice that just a few times, moving the head. Mm -hmm. Good, and then let's pause there for a moment. Let your wrists flick out and in out and in. Good. I'm just kind of growing this movement out and in, out and in. Good. And then we're going to roll the palms forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So there's a waking up in your shoulder. Good. Now I want to add my knees into this. I'm going to take my palms forward and let my knees pull my thigh bones back. Good, so just waking up a little bit your glutes and your hamstrings. If you wanted to make a little bit more of a back bend on top, you could lift the sternum bone, pull back, lift the sternum bone, pull back, lift the sternum bone, pull back, lift the sternum, pull back. Let's pause right here, put your hands on the low back, feel long and broad in your low back, and then we're gonna lightly pulse five and four, three, two, and one, lift your left heel, same thing, pulse five, four, three, two, one, right heel, pulse five, four, three, two, one, two heels, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, exhale, setting that down, taking the arms wide, once again, this time, arms are going to reach as you go side to side, and again, we can Bend in the knees, inhale up, exhale, folding lado y lado, inspirar arriba, expirar abajo, good. And then from here, I'm gonna take two palms together overhead, make a second to just rock my weight, right and left, izquierda, derecha, and then pull opposite elbow to knee. So sweep the arms up fully, and exhale, opposite elbow to knee, sweeping up, moviendo arriba y ahora abajo. Inhale, remember we're gonna keep knees, thighs, hips balanced, and twist in the ribs. So, rodillas, muslos, cadera, equilibrada, and then girando por las costillas. Okay, let's try one more. Hold down here, sweep the arms all the way up, and then exhale, fold down on the other side. So push through the feet, and exhale, come over. Push through the feet, and exhale, sweeping over. Push through the feet, exhale over. Inhale, this time we'll open up, and then move the weight right and left. Right and left. You can extend through the elbows as you push down with each foot. Good, so you're kind of waking up your deltoids. And again, waking up inner thigh, outer hips, discovering a little balance this morning, letting the feet get a little wider. Good. So now can we hold the weight on the right side and lift and lower the left leg? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set it down. Otra pierna. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Set it down, feet are wider. Sweep, scoop the arms. This time press down with the palms. Lifting up, subiendo y bajando. Subiendo, moviendo arriba y ahora abajo. So you're still working that inner and outer rotation through the shoulder. Beautiful. Inhaling up. Exhale, this time hold, come down. We're gonna move the weight side to side. Through your feet, lado 
Eleven, letting the head and tail stay lined up as you go. Good. Two and one. Let's place hands on the thigh bones. Move one shoulder in towards your opposite toes. Inhale, a long stretch up. Opposite shoulder in towards the toes. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, over. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, coming over. One more time. Inhale, big stretch up. Exhale, coming over. And then we'll inhale, move into the center. And exhale, bring your weight up. So now, pivot and turn. So I've gone towards my right foot. I'm going to rock some weight. Just start by rocking weight into your front foot so it stays grounded. And you're going to lift the back foot up. Let's get the knee, the hip, the sitting bone comfortable with that lining up. Two and one. Good. Now I just want you to tap your front foot. So push toe, bulk heel, waking up the muscles in the hip flexor, the quadricep. As you come down, catching the weight. Two and one. And now let's go ball front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot back foot, then you could add some arms in there, opening the chest as your weight moves forward, closing the elbows as your weight moves back, forward and back. Again, just think about blood flow and building your relationship to gravity as you come down slowly. Beautiful. So let's pause, pull that weight in the front foot, straighten the back knee, and exhale, float out over the leg and up. Exhale, floating out over the leg and up. Exhale, floating out over the leg and up. Exhale and up. Reverse out and up. Good. Reverse out and up. Breathing out and up. Let's try one more. Out and up. Out and hold. So now opposite elbow comes and taps the knee and we'll lift and stretch up. Opposite elbow tapping the knee, out, coming up. Opposite elbow taps the knee, out and up. Let's do that one more time. Out and up, two arms up, pivot in your feet. And we're gonna try that the other way. So begin by just letting that back foot come off of the floor. And you can think about the head and the hips. Staying la cabeza, la caderas, las caderas. Nice and balanced, right? As the weight comes off of the floor, you're just feeling the muscles, bones in your feet, catching that weight. Good, so now hold the weight in the back foot, push weight into the front foot, and really feel that power as you spring back up from the floor, up from the floor. Arriba, 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 good, arriba. Good, two and one. So now, foot to back, adelante y atrás por los pies, adelante y atrás. So just paying attention to that connection in the movement, a steady center, good. And then elbows can open wide and pull in, in and out, in and out. Good, so you feel waking up in the chest also, two, and one, let's hold the weight in the front foot. And again, take a long stretch. Remember, we're going to anchor our weight in our feet, especially as we move forward. We're going to take the spine forward and move the hips back. Good. Try that just a couple more times. Out and up, out and up, out and up. Good. Let's reverse. So we'll push up. Find ourselves tall, pushing up, finding ourselves tall. Remember, connect to the feet. Por los pies, estamos conectando con el piso. Good, let's hold the arms up in a Y shape. Opposite elbow towards your th uh, thigh. So, codo apuesto a tu muslo y ahora arriba. Pues bajando y arriba, bajando. Y arriba, let's do one more, bajando, y arriba, then two arms up, 
Then we're gonna turn back to the center once again and just lightly tap your feet till they come underneath you. So it's like a right, left, right, left, toe ball, heel, toe ball, heel, steady in the center, right, left, right, left. Finding a little lightness in that movement, picking up the knees, feeling them move parallel. Good, and then from here, we're gonna hop out, pull in. Hop out, saltando afuera, y adentro. Afuera, y adentro. Let's do three more, afuera, y adentro. Afuera, y adentro. Let's hold the adentro. And you're gonna take your right toes, turn them out. Same thing, let's begin to just build. Doblamos, estiramos. So you're gonna bend and straighten the knee. The knee doesn't come beyond the heel, just out and back, out and back. Good, now let's add our arms into that movement. Out to three, up to three. Out to three, up to three, out to three, up to three, out to three, up to three. Now hold, elbow in and back, elbow in and back, elbow pull in and back. Elbow in and back, elbow in and back. Good, coming through that side all the way and up. Turn those toes in, turn the opposite toes out. Just begin bend, straighten the knee. Shoulders, ribs, hips lined up. Bend and straighten the knee. Dos y Uno. Good, so now we're gonna add the arms and back. Good, push again. Remember, ball of the foot and the heel. Keep them connected to the floor on both feet. And the arcos del pie, the arches of the feet lifting. Good, so now pull towards and reach away. Hacia la pierna y ahora fuera. A weight reaching all the way away, towards the leg and back towards and back, towards and back, towards and back. Good. And then from here, two arms up. I'm gonna step my right back leg to my left front foot. Once again, just get light with the feet. Toe ball, heel, toe ball, heel. Good. Waking up, lifting the toes, feeling that energy there. And let's pause at the top of the mat. So this is my right side facing in. Inhale, brazos arriba. Take the thumbs up. Feel your pinky fingers, a long stretch with estiramiento. Largo por todo el cuerpo. And then we're going to let the head come down. A long stretch here. You can rock your weight a couple times, a little more forward in the feet. And back, adelante. Good. And then I'm going to inhale, keep that stretch up. Bend my two knees, take my right foot back, my left foot back. You could find, if you'd like, a little vinyasa here, letting the elbows come to the sides of the body, inhaling up, and exhale, reaching that weight back. Now the right leg's gonna lift, the knee is gonna bend, the knee is gonna come up a little bit higher, feel a big stretch in the back of the leg, and same thing, it adduct this top leg, really feel it move in and up. Good, now we're gonna place the foot behind the hand and sweep the back up. Warrior one. Good, so get a bend in the front knee, leveling in the hips, an arch in the spine. Good, and then I'm gonna exhale, continue to move my hips back, take my left hand to my right ankle, mano izquierda, at mi tobillo derecho. I'll take that arm up and over. So this is Uchita Asta Parsvokanasana. Good, good, good. And now I'm gonna take that hand to the hip, straighten this front knee, Pari Brita Trikanasana, lift the arm if the shoulder feels comfortable. Good, a long stretch, and you're reaching the sitting bone, el isquion atrás, and pulling the ribs up. Good, from here I'm gonna take two hands right in front of my bottom foot and then lift up 
Oh, and keep the hips square here for this pose right now. We're gonna straighten this front knee and lift the back thigh and feel that energetic opposition between two legs. Okay, and then feel that firmness as the head melts forward. And then looking at the back toe, set it right back down on the floor. Pivot in the feet, turn towards the back leg, and now step the opposite foot in. And then again, just lightly shake, loosen, wake up the rest of the body here. Letting go of that little sequence. Uh, checking on your neck, your shoulders, etc. Good. So now let's try that sequence on the other side. So we'll inhale, stretch, reach the arms up. And then exhale, find a long forward bend. Shake your head, no. And let the shake of the head, especially those of you who say, bueno, si tenemos uh, uh, algo incómodo en el cuello, vamos a mover cabeza lado y lado, arriba y bajo. And desde aquí, from here we're gonna look up and then bend the knees. Step the left foot back, long spine, right foot back, two long leg, long spine, long rib cage as you lower, <clears throat> inhaling, coming up, and exhale, reaching the weight of the body back. So anchor your right leg, make that your strong anchor here as you lift the left leg, left pierna izquierda en el aire, and then let that leg adapt as you pull it parallel, bend the knee. Lift the hair higher. Y vamos a colocar el pie detrás de la mano. So you'll put the foot behind the hand, anchor your two feet, push down deep into the floor para subir. So remember now, there's an energetic opposition between your heels and your shins. The heels press down. The shins, your pantorillas are lifting up through the inner thigh. Good. So keep that spread out where you're horizontal, lift up where you're vertical. Beautiful. And then so from here, I'm just going to take my right hand to my left ankle. Pause here for a moment. Utita or Parvita Parzokanasana. Put your hand for a moment on the low back. Notice that your head isn't in front of your tailbone, but you're going to pull the head back till it lines up. Hasta La cabeza está alineada con uh, tu tailbone, tu coccyx. Y ahora, el brazo arriba, take that top arm up. This is the Asta Pars Volcanasana. Good. And then from here, I'm going to stretch and reach for Parivrita Asta. Parivrita Pars Volcanasana. So now, Parivrita Trikanasana. Parivrita means to twist. Then reach this hip back, pull the bottom rib cage under me, and then keep that sense of stretch between my two legs, heels pressing down, thigh bones lifting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If I'm a poner, you're gonna put that hand down and your opposite hand down. And we're gonna try to find again that verticality as you lift this leg. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and feel that energetic opposition. So your back is nice and released and the thighs are doing some heavy lifting. Good, and I'm just gonna set that foot down. Inhale, come up and let's work a couple of times again. So loosen, release, feel where you need a little more blood flow through your um, dedos de la mano, dedos del pie, your cobos, your shoulders. So really sweep out and find where perhaps we've hidden a little tension. And then let's gather the weight for a moment in your right front foot. So we're gonna go toe ball heel through the right foot. Inhale, sweep the hands underneath the left thigh and find once again, the right thigh is getting as vertical as you can make it. And the left thigh, as horizontal as possible, horizontal con el muslo izquierdo. And then you can take the arms out and then extend, just breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knee, 
pick up each knee and kind of relax that through the hips. Good, again, still finding balance, still connecting right and left. Good, push with the left foot to raise the right. Good, so now pause, gather that weight in your left foot. So we'll go toe, ball, heel. Inhale, lift the right thigh up. Let the hands come under the thigh, make it horizontal. Breathe into it. So just notice where your weight goes when you lose your balance. When you can, if you can, extend the leg. Inhale, exhale, arms up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down and once again, rock it out. So this time lead with the tailbone, let it move low, let it move high, good. And create a little release through the body, continuing to move the blood. Move the blood. Moviendo la sangre. Good. So now let's try. I'm going to turn. This is my right foot. I'm stepping it in. So turn towards this right foot. I'm going to put my hands for a moment on my low back. Feel the. So I do this to make sure my hip doesn't move back with the leg. I'm going to pull the hip to face forward and really pull the thigh bone back, back, back. So hip bones this way, and then the thighs moving out of the hips, not the hips traveling with the thighs. So gather the weight as much as you can in your right front foot. You can turn those left toes back behind you over and stretch the ankle. Good. And then when it feels ready, bend the knee, hand to the ankle. Inhale, take your right arm up, and then exhale, take your sternum forward. See if you can breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Vamos a subir. Just take that back up. Now two arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Set the left foot down. Let's try that on the other side. So as you turn, again, work out that tension in your feet, those little movements. Good. So these yoga poses can ask a lot. So let yourself kind of relax in between while you're still keeping your body warm. So now left foot, heel, all toes. Step some weight into it. Now the right foot. I've just got that foot moving back. The hip bones aren't going with the foot. Las caderas adelante. So now you're going to turn the top of the foot over. Reach the tailbone down. Feel that extension in the hip. Good, so the hip is really alive here. And then I'm gonna exhale, bend your knee, hand to the ankle, just stretch, still feeling that evenness between the two hips. Maybe take the left arm up, maybe extend the sternum away from that right shin. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lift, five, four, three, two, one, release, release, release. And then let's exhale, let me see. Um, let's face this way. So we're gonna inhale, take the arms up and start working on a little uh, 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 external rotation sequence. So exhale, extend the sternum, move the thighs up and take your head down. So feel that for just a moment. Thighs in a big lift and the head melting towards the floor. Press the palms in the, um, into the floor. Nos miramos arriba. Let's look up. Step the right foot back, the left foot back, and exhale, lowering down. Inhale, come up, and then exhale. Reach the weight of the body back. This time we're going to lift the left leg first, bend the knee, open the hip. Open the hips. So now I want you to feel the right heel reaches in line with the toes on that bottom foot. And then the left femur is opening through the weight of the rest of the leg. You're just letting it float back behind you. Good. That could one day become a dog flip 
You could do it today if you want it. You don't have to, obviamente. And then from here, you lift, place the left foot behind your left hand, detrás de la mano izquierda. Then we're gonna pull spiral up from the floor. Abrimos el pecho. Take your left hand to the right ribs, wrap and pull in, right hand to the left ribs, mano a tu costilla. Feel your torso upright, brazos afuera, good. Lift your right heel, lift your left heel. Good, ball of the foot, ball of the back foot. Beautiful, so now hold the bend in the knee, hold the length in the back leg, and then take the hand down. Go ahead, top arm over the ear. So this is Uttita Asta Parzo Konasana. Top arm stretching, feel that armpit alive. Estirando muy bien. Good, 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 good. Now I'm gonna take the top arm up. I'm gonna reach this sitting bone back by strengthening the knee. Good, so now I've got a little tree Konasana. This is a beloved pose. Notice if your hips move back and your head move forward, let the hips move slightly adelante. Y la cabeza, good, um, atrás, move the head a little bit back. Good. So now, mano aquí en tu, en tu cadera, bend your two knees, and then I'm gonna step the back foot in about two feet, so line up the heel with the arch of the foot, take my left hand out, and exhale, lift, lift, lift. And then from here, hold on to that Ardha Chandrasana for just a few breaths. Again, one thigh really horizontal and the other thigh really vertical. And then we're gonna set that back foot down. I'm gonna take my bottom arm and wrap it to the inside of my front thigh. So you can just stretch here for a moment, getting comfortable. And then you could perhaps step that back foot in a little and gather your weight in your right front foot, bottom foot. So again, if you lose your balance, just set that foot down. Good. And try to discover the lift. Exhale, extend. Both legs. Again, release and then, yes, baila, baila, baila. Let it go, let it go. Good, and then you can dance it all the way to the opposite side of your mat. Good, so let's try all of that from this side. And again, if you feel anything, get gripped. And then also I would encourage you, if you have to come out of a sequence, just try to keep a little bit of blood flow. Try to keep a little bit of movement. Good, so now let's inhale, take your two arms up. And then exhale along, forward bend, melt the head. This time really bend and straighten the knees a few times. <sighs> Finding a big release here. And then I'm gonna inhale, look all the way up and step my right foot and left foot back. And again, if there's a vinyasa, give it a try. Inhale, coming all the way up, exhale, reaching. Hips and tailbone back. Good, so now this time my right leg's gonna lift. I'm gonna bend the knee, lift it just a hair higher, and then allow the hip to open. Remembering that, yeah, there's a big stretch through the leg. And then again, that could, if your weight feels good, it turns into a little flipping of the dog. Exhale, the arm comes right back up. And then I'm gonna place my right foot behind my right hand, turn my left toes out. And exhale, push through the feet to find a nice warrior two. Everybody check in with your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, your knees here, chin over each shoulder. El mentón, la barbilla sobre cada hombro. Beautiful. So then I'm gonna hold the bend in my front knee and then respalar, good, my right hand down, mi mano derecha abajo, top arm over the ear, Uttita Asa Parsvokanasana. So see if you can descend your hips and lift your rib cage slightly in this pose. Good. 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. So we're less here and more shoulder blades together. Rib cage long, hips descending, hamstrings working. Good. So now top hand to the hip, lengthen. Vamos a elongar eso. Your right leg out. La pierna, la rodilla derecha. Está alargando. That's the word. Alargar. Largar. Ah, yoga, tan yoga. Esta mañana. Good. And then that top arm comes up. A little tree canasana. So notice if your hips pitched back. Vamos a mover las caderas adelante. Good. Alineado la cabeza con las caderas. So you're aligning your head with your hips. Good. Now this top hand to your hip. Vamos a doblar las rodillas. So you're going to bend the back knee. And then step it in, dos pasitos. So step it in, two feet. And then walk your right hand out, one foot. And then see about lifting that left leg up in the air. Good. And then perhaps this top arm up in the air. Good, 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 good. So you got a little um, pari or a little Ardha Chandrasana happening. A length through both thighs. One heel stretching away, other heel pressing deep into the floor. Good, and then we're gonna set that down. Your front arm can wrap around your pierna abajo. Good, and then that back foot, you can step it in a little bit. And maybe just let your weight relax here for a second. And then when you feel ready, try to maybe find the weight. That El peso del cuerpo en la pierna izquierda. And then maybe extending your two knees. And then maybe collapsing in a heap all the way down. Good, shake it up. Relax it, relaja, relaja, relaja. Good. Brazos en el aire. Brazos anchos, abiertos. Brazos atrás. Good. So now let's just do a couple little poses of external rotation. So I'm going to take my weight to the heel into the right foot, feel the inner thigh, outer hip. Now the left foot, I'm just going to lift and open. Slide my hand down the leg. Let the thigh and the foot come together. And maybe take your dos brazos arriba. Good, 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 good. And again, feel your spine grow. Brazos afuera. Good. And maybe reverse that, depending on how is your balance today. Como esta tu equilibrio? Take it down. Our balance is just different every day. Because you know if you're more tired, or more sore, or lo que sea. It's just going to be a different story. All right, so now weight on the left foot, toe, ball, heel. Turn the right toes, la pierna derecha, mueva afuera. And then, but you're still, so again, the hips don't go with the leg, the hips face forward, and you use the muscles on the supporting leg to hold the pelvis estable. Good, so then we'll place the foot at the thigh and then see about brazos adelante, brazos abiertos, brazos arriba. Good. And then vamos a bajar, bajar, bajar. Muy bien, y otra vez bajamos las piernas. And you're gonna lower the legs, take it down. And once again, just kind of roll through the shoulders. If you haven't done a sweep with the arms yet, let the arms carry the opposite leg up. So I go to the left with my arm, I'm gonna just pull that right leg up. Good, so dance, estamos bailando. Good, so now let the arms stay up and move the hips in between the two arms. Inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale and exhale, reach, good. And back to a neutral position. So let the arms 
Carry the opposite leg. So arms to the right, a la derecha. And you're gonna lift. Subimos. La pierna izquierda, arriba. 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 Arriba y abajo. Good. So then, dos brazos afuera. Let the hips move entre los brazos. Entre los brazos. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna exhale. Release that, bring your two feet back underneath you. So we're gonna lift, subimos. La pierna izquierda otra vez. You're opening that leg. You can put the foot at the thigh or take it up to the hip crease. Good, so I'm gonna inhale, take my two arms up. Move the thigh bones back, 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 moviendo atrás. And um, let my head go, go, go. So as it feels comfortable, you can create more stretch, more stretch with that bottom leg. Good, and then I'm gonna bend my um, that bottom leg to find my weight coming right back up. Beautiful, exhale. And once again, good. So now see if you can create a little movement through the scapula, the hips. Excellent. And so esta vez, this time, take the weight into your left foot, el pie izquierdo. I'm gonna lift my right, externally rotate, bring the foot either up to just the thigh or into the hip crease. Because this is a little deeper stretch. Brazos arriba, and then bajamos, 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 bajamos. And then from here, I'm gonna just, sometimes you may find that the cadera, the bone of the hip, el hueso de la cadera, puede juntar con el talón. So you might feel that it can kind of, the bone of the hip can line up, press into the heel. Sometimes there's a little bit deeper release through that sensation and you really want to feel the left leg moving out to the side as little as possible. Try to pull it up in parallel. Good, so desde aquí, if you can, let's see about lifting right back up. And exhale, releasing, releasing, releasing. Okay, basta. That's a lot of balancing poses we've done today. So I'm curious to know how that feels. Después. Okay, y a ver. Okay, so I'm putting my blanket now just in the center of my mat and I'm gonna let this my left side coming in. Let's practice just a couple things. So my blanket is in the center. And I'm gonna, yo paso, I'm going to step forward with my right leg, bend my back knee, feel the knee is just slightly behind the hip as I hold on to my weight and take my knee straight down. Good. Now I'm going to take that front foot back, press the two feet down, and just begin by firming, making vertical thighs here as I start to find a little ustrasana. So everybody take care of your low backs for just a second. Maybe leave your left hand here. Maybe take your mano derecha detrás de la cabeza. Take the right hand behind the head and feel yourself. Uh -huh. And maybe you can get a little bit deeper in the pose with the head supported. Vamos a intentarlo otro lado. We'll try that on the other side. So now the left hand detrás. And then you're gonna exhale, come float over. Push the feet, los pies abajo. And exhale, come up. So now we have a sense of where our low back is. Can you take dos manos detrás de la cabeza? So take two hands behind the head. And then again, vamos a empujar por los pies. You're gonna push through the feet to find your muslos verticales, so you find your vertical thighs. And then I'm gonna lower, lower, lower. If it's feeling okay, I'll exhale and let my hands move to my heels. Breathe and push all the way up. Manos aquí. So take your two hands together. And now I'm going to walk my knees just off of the mat. Let my head come down. 
And we're gonna do a headstand, but I wanna do um, Dhanurasana and Shalabhasana first to wake up the muscles in the spine. So vamos a mover las uh, caderas atrás. So let's move the hips back, let the head come up, sweep the two arms forward, and exhale, let the hips move down. And then slowly, 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 let the sternum hover just above the floor. And from here, lift the two thighs and take the two arms forward, just breathe. Good, excellent. Move the head down, the arms back, bend the two knees. Good, and you can kind of flutter kick with the knees bent, just think of bend that connection into the hamstring. Pull two knees back. Maybe your hands come from the thighs. Exhale, pull the tailbone down. Lift up. You could roll to one side if that felt comfortable and safe. Inhale, so you would lead with the hips. Set them down gently. And exhale, lead with the hips, floating the other way. Good. And then from here, there's that key. I'm going to float that right back down. Extend the two legs once again, lift my spine. Find another little round of Shalavasana. And then press the palms slightly out in front of the shoulders. So you got another Bhunjangasana. Now pull the elbows, los codos alineados con los hombros. So the elbows are in line. And then I'm gonna scoop my cadera arriba, pull the hips up so you feel the belly connecting. Good, 10 toes press in. Lift into a little plank. Good. Move the knees back. Push back with the arms. And walk the head down. So I'm just curious to see if how those uh, that back sequence kind of works with our headstand. So press the pinkies, las meñiques aquí en el piso, and then your manos juntos, your palms together. And then I'm going to take my cabeza, my head down, and empujo por los antebrazos. So I'm gonna push through my forearm as I take my pelvis up, perhaps bending one knee, perhaps bending the other. And then maybe taking those two legs in the air. Maybe sending the heels to the sky like we did in Ardha Chandrasana. That energy out into el espacio, el energía in el aire. When you feel ready, you can bend forward, bring the legs down. Good, I'm feeling a little bit wild, so maybe we'll try again. I feel like last week we worked on some bakasana and I was not proud. So let's see, it's like I haven't worked on that in a long time. So you can take your weight out into the hands for a moment, then walk your feet behind your hands. So everybody's got this, right? Take a second just to, uh, for some relaxation to pull your palmas debajo de los pies. So pull the palms under you and pull the shoulder blades. Uh, down, like into the ears. So you're making some space between los omoplatos y la columna. Uh, let that all hang. Probably feels good after a headstand. And then vamos a mirar arriba. I'm going to do it like this move my blanket so I have something out. And then my palms here into the floor and take my knees up and try to put my knees, las rodillas, en mis axilas. So I'm gonna try to put my knees in my armpits. So again, you don't have to do a full crow pose, but you could try just that. Knees, rodillas, and las axilas. And then you can let the tailbone come down and the heels float up. So the whole energy is about letting the head come up and the tailbone down. And that's Bakasana. Exhale, set it down. And if you can just relax your wrists for a momentito. Um, yeah, I think that's exciting to practice. Uh, and it's probably something we should practice oftenish. All right, so if you're here, you can take your hands to your ankles and just let your head go for a second. Really let your neck estira, estira, estira. Muy bien. And I'm going to take my two hands to, this is for me, the left side of my mat. I'm just going to sweep over 
and get ready to do a couple seated poses. So let's do some forward bends into core work. So go ahead, exhale, extend. Dos piernas afuera. Inhale, take the arms up and then pull the palms. Vamos a poner, colocar las palmas de abajo de los hombros. So you're going to pull the palms right under your shoulders and press in deep, profundamente. Good. Chin over each shoulder. Good. And then from here, take your two arms up. Stretch your toes back towards the body. Fan out the ball of the foot and stretch adelante. Good. So once again, really just let your neck go. Good. And then we're going to push the heels down, pull the palms up, sit tall. And from here, I'm going to sit back and lift just my right leg. So hold and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Now open the palms. So they're going to right back under the shoulders, fingertips facing out. Bend your left knee and lift the pelvis and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Set the pelvis down. Extend the left leg. Right uh, ankle to your left thigh. Take the two arms out. Breathe five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll set that leg down and exhale, come stretch out forward. So there is a world where you just leave the two hands here, dos manos en el pie, or you can take your right foot up into the hip crease and bind this pose just behind your back. Good. So again, allowing for a deep release. Good. Inhale, bringing all of that back up. And then exhale, unfold. So two heels up, thigh bones down. Brazos aquí, debajo de los hombros. So another little dandasana moment. Then we're going to pull those palms together, press the right leg down, lift the left leg up, respirando, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, sweep and take the arms underneath the shoulders, right foot presses in, lift la pelvis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, and then from here you're going to set the pelvis down, left ankle, right thigh, extend. Vamos a extender la pierna derecha, and then you've got two legs up. Five, so really lift through the femur and sit tall. Two and one. Estiramos adelante. You're going to come stretch forward. So toes reaching back to the body is going to help you stretch your calf. La pantorilla. Good. And then if you wanted, this foot could move up the hip crease, and you could bind the hand. So it would be your left hand, la mano izquierda detrás de la espalda. So would be your left hand to your left foot, your pie izquierdo. We all know la mano, yes? Everybody knows that, la mano. So it's not el mano. There's something to remember. Como el agua. And then from here, all those sometimes, las aguas. All right, two arms all the way up. And then let's exhale, unfold the legs once again. So palms under the shoulders, lift la cabeza, subimos, and abrimos el pecho while you pull your costillas adentro. Good. Take another long Paschimottanasana. Extend the sternum and feel that deep stretch into your espalda, baja, your low back. La espalda inferior, inferior. Brazos arriba, arms up, and then palms just back from the shoulders. Reach your 10 toes to the floor, breathe. And exhale, lower the pelvis down, lift the two legs, extend the two legs, y respiramos cinco, cuatro, Tres, dos, uno, and then we're going to lower all of that down to the floor. So take your two legs up, and if you like, the legs can come out over your shoulders, taking a little Parashimottanasana. 
If you get there and it feels safe and comfortable, walk the shoulder blades in un poco más and pull las palmas juntas, pull the palms together. And then desde aquí, if it's feeling good, hands move to the hips, rodillas sobre las caderas. So you're going to take your knees right over the hips. Y ahora las piernas en el aire, so you can extend las rodillas, extend the knees. And from there, it's like you're going to try to pull the whole body up from the floor, through your feet, through the legs. So the legs are reaching to the sky. And then, if that feels nice, you could take the hands to the base of the rib cage. And then vamos a bajar. We're going to lower that down. So let the hips kind of reach away. The toes come back sobre la cabeza, over the head. And then let those bones return to the floor for a moment. You can pull the elbows in and come rest on the top of the head. Matasana, bottom lip. La, uh, el labio inferior sobre el labio superior. So take your bottom lip over your top lip. Y cinco respiraciones there. And then doblamos las rodillas, you bend the knees. And let the head rest in the floor, brazos arriba. And then fold at the elbows, right? So um, press the palms in into the floor, de abajo de los hombros. So press your hands in under the shoulders, pull the elbows, los codos juntos, pull them together. And then just lift the pelvis and then lift some weight into the hands and then release that. Lift the pelvis, lift the shoulder blades, feel that weight in the hands, come on to the top of the head. So you're comfortable here and you've got so much good work happening in your glutes and your hamstrings that the triceps say, sure, why not? Urdhva Dhanurasana. Vamos a hacerlo. Como no? So we'll just breathe three, and two, and one. Really free your body. Y vamos a bajar. Good. Abrimos your brazos. So you're going to open the arms. Hacemos circulitos. Good. And then wide legs for a moment. Your feet más ancho. And then I'm going to roll my hips over. Revolteando. Las caderas. Y hacemos otra dirección. Let's try to turn away. Estirando muy bien por las caderas. Good. And then from here, take your left foot across your right thigh. It's almost like you're going to put that left hand, or right hand, mano derecha con tu pie. Izquierdo. Good. And then exhale, bajando. Vamos a hacerlo otro lado. You can try that. Other side. Good. La vista, otra dirección. Your gaze the other way. Good. And then vamos a pausar aquí. Una pausa in your... Um, Supta Barakanasana. So, soles of the feet, los pies juntos, las rodillas separadas. And then ponemos las manos aquí en la panza. So, put your hands just for a moment on your belly. Respirando profundamente, breathing big, breathing deep, breathing low. Y relajando. Una respiración profunda. Una respiración ancha, nice and wide. Y relajamos. Una respiración compleja, llena. A full breath. Y relajamos. Abrimos los brazos. Abrimos las piernas.
breathe slowly. And then when you're ready, vamos a menear un poco los dedos de la mano, de nuestro pie. And then take a big, long stretch, arms and legs, and then vamos a abrazar las piernas sobre el pecho. So you're going to hug the knees over the chest. And then roll, giramos un lado, roll to one side, nos sentamos arriba. And then, bueno, con las palmas juntas. Bajando la cabeza, cerrando los ojos. Tu energía, tu presencia, tu atención. Estos son regalos. Muchísimas gracias. These are gifts. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Namaste.